Hello, how's it going? It's Amanda here. Um, I just wanted to share a quick video with you about how I have been getting through working at a kind of a menial job that can be exhausting and frustrating and puts me in contact with people that are exhausting and frustrating as well. Um, one thing that has been helping me is thinking about Anytime you're in a point in your life where you're not quite exactly where you want to be, think about it like when you're at the airport and you've got plane tickets in hand and you're waiting to go somewhere and you're super fucking psyched to go there. Last summer I got to go to California and I stayed in a tree house and I saw this teacher that I really loved. <clears throat> and I think one of the flights was delayed and there wasn't any moment when I was waiting in the airport that I was like, ugh, I'm not going to make it, I can't this is pointless, I'm stuck here, I'm always going to be in this airport. <laughs> I mean, that would have been ridiculous, right? I had the plane tickets, I knew I was going, and so I got a coffee and I got a good book and I just waited and, it got, and I stayed in this eager anticipation. And it occurs to me that our life can be like that too and there can be way stations where it's just like, yeah, it's not the beach, but it is the airport and I've got the tickets. So if you can just kind of maintain this attitude of I've got the tickets in my hands and I'm going to on this trip. So <laughs> that's been helping me a lot thinking of it. I'm not turning around, I'm not giving up, I'm going on this fucking trip. <sighs> that might be all I have for you right now actually. Oh, the other thing I just wanted to remind you of is that you always have a choice in everything that you're doing. Um, there's a woman who I really like who says even with your children, you know, when you're raising kids and you've got like two toddlers running around, maybe you're still choosing to have them. I mean, there's plenty of people that choose not to take care of their kids. So my, I don't have kids, but <laughs> my, my point is that anything in your life, even the things that we think we have to do, we always have a choice. Um, I've been homeless and I've packed up a bag and I've walked away from so many things and we can always choose again, choose differently, walk away from the shit that's not working for us. Um, it's so easy to get stuck in places in our life where we just feel like I'm stuck with this house and I'm stuck with this job and I'm stuck with this partner. We are never stuck ever. Um, we might be afraid of the unknown and we might be afraid of starting over. What it would involve to walk away from certain things might be challenging, sure. But if you can just always remember that what you're choosing to do today is your choice and you can choose differently, you can choose again. So for instance, with this job, every day I just remind myself I'm choosing to go to this job because one, it's better than the job I had last still. It, it's still treating me better. It's better for my heart. It's nice to just have kind of a menial thing, no pressure, no responsibilities. I just go, I make some money, whatever. It is my choice. Um, I'm choosing not to let down my coworkers. I'm choosing to use this as one baby step out into the universe, um, one baby step towards my goals. This is the other thing that's helping me too. Like if someone doesn't tip me or doesn't tip me as much as I think they should or if I don't get the hours or it's not as busy as I expected, it's important for me to remind myself that this is just one way that I'm showing up to allow the money and the abundance and things that I'm working for to reach me. So I don't have to put... It's very common for us to think like all my bills and all of everything is going to get paid through this one avenue, this job. And I was really sweating rent and I still kind of am, but I realized like I was putting all this pressure on my job like to pay my rent and that's very common for us to do. But I can relax a little bit and be like, this is just one way that I'm showing that I'm willing to work and willing to show up and do my part. This is one idea that I had, but the universe is powerful and abundance can reach us through many, many, many bazillion different channels in different ways that we can't even maybe see yet. It could come from an opportunity that hasn't shown itself yet. It could come from an idea that I haven't had yet. And putting all the pressure for everything to come from this one avenue is too much and it can be stressful. So I just keep showing up and whenever someone tips me less than 10% or not at all and I just say, you know what, this they're not paying my bills. This, is, this job doesn't have to be the sole means of how I make a living. Um, I believe in an abundant and loving universe, and I think it can come from a lot of different places. So stay tuned, and I'll let you know all the magical places it's coming from for me. I'd love to hear where and how it's coming for you. And again, feel free to post uh, if you have ideas or concerns or questions or things you want me to address. Um, and also, if you subscribe, that would be really helpful because I, once I have 100 subscribers, then I can get my own unique... YouTube URL and that'd be pretty neat. Maybe it would be Party Wolf. I don't know. 
Um, but thanks for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day and a wonderful Thanksgiving. And I will be posting uh, an obligatory gratitude <laughs> video. There's nothing wrong with gratitude. I love it. Uh, it's very important. And so I do want to add my hat into that ring. So stay tuned. I love you. Thank you for watching. Bye.